agree on. It's an agenda that embraces economic growth. Whether it's the government, policymaker, companies, individual, uh, they all can take steps to use energy more responsibly and efficiently. And this is something uh, from our three secretariat, as well as I think from all the stakeholders, should be regularly uh, emphasized and promoted. So I'll begin with the presentation. Uh, I'll give you a brief introduction of what uh, the Energy Efficiency Engagement Program is all about. The three or the Energy Efficiency Engagement Program started in January 2015. Uh, the program is funded by the Danish International Development Agency, DANIDA, and the Royal Danish Embassy in Bangladesh. The Nordic Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, is the implementing partner. So it is the responsibility of the NCCR to establish a secretariat in Bangladesh and uh, achieve the objectives set out uh, under the program. So the overall objective is to reduce the carbon emissions from the industry. Uh, the main focus, or I would say, the main beneficiary of the program are the industries only. Secondly, we would like uh, the companies or businesses to embrace uh, energy efficiency uh, measures, adopt uh, uh, energy saving uh, measures uh, within their companies. Second, thirdly, create the foundation for a future energy efficiency program aimed in that industry. Uh, the overall motive or objective that we have is to support a sustainable and economic uh, development of Bangladesh. By the time the slides come over, I will just introduce myself. Uh, my name is Hassan Fatimi. I'm the Executive Director of the Nordic Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I'm also working under the Energy Efficiency Engagement Program, where our day-to-day -day activity is to one secretary. I will just introduce some of my colleagues as well. Uh, I think many of you have already met Stefan and I've also is the Danida advisor at uh, the Energy Efficiency Secretariat. Uh, Murtan Muslam is the liaison and research officer. Uh, he's the main contact point for all the companies. And then we have Bishra Jha, she's the admin and finance officer of the secretariat. Yes, and then, sorry, we have uh, Mr. Soren Romanhagen, he is the commercial counselor of the Embassy of Denmark. We have, uh, thank you so much, Ryan. We also have uh, Samuel Sharuk from the Embassy of Denmark today. Uh, she is the trade officer. Yes. The economic and trade officer at the Embassy. So uh, just to give you a brief overview, we have uh, already completed 34 energy assessment in various sectors and we have, uh, we are planning in it to do another 16. We are very much open and focusing on companies which are very energy intensive. So the more energy intensive it is, it will be more uh, attractive for us. So the implementation process uh, for the three, the first task was to establish a secretariat which was established within the NCCI, the Nordic Chamber of Commerce. Uh, the second objective is to develop a knowledge hub. As I was speaking about, uh, we aim to establish an online knowledge hub where all information such as uh, it could be anything related to the technologies, the suppliers, uh, Know how technology know how uh, we aim to have all this information under this information hub. And finally, uh, as part of the process, we have to conduct 50 walkthrough audits and three to five investment grade audits. Uh, to date, we have completed 34, we have another 16 walkthrough audits to complete. So, if you are interested in this program, and we'd be please contact us, and we will be happy to see if you qualify. So who can participate? Uh, like I mentioned, uh, the company should have, uh, it should be energy intensive. Uh, within the target sector of three, it should be from the private sector because uh, the program is aimed towards uh, industries. 
Uh, it, we cannot uh, do an assessment uh, within the new facilities, so we are looking at facilities which are at least, I would say, have been in operations for five years. And uh, we know several companies have already undergone an energy audit, so our preference will be given uh, to companies who have never had an assessment done in the facilities. Consultants, uh, and we will be appointing them after assessing your facility. And overall, after the assessment is done, we would uh, encourage you to share the overall findings uh, with various stakeholders. Uh, this is something we would strongly encourage. And most importantly, the companies do not pay any uh, fee for this assessment. The entire assessment is, the cost of the assessment is borne by NCCI or the 3 program. So there is no cost for the company in participating in this program. This was a brief introduction of what the program is about, and uh, now I would like to invite uh, my colleague and the Danida advisor, Stefania Bolson, who will give you a detailed outlook on the findings that, have, uh, that we have uh, uh, found out through the assessment done uh, in the last, since I would say January 2015. So thank you very much uh, for being with us here today.